All right, so this is a some more. This is an unfortunate video. Let me fix my camera, actually. This is an unfortunate video. I actually heard the news from a friend of mine maybe like a week ago or a couple days ago, but they're just now talking about it. Like the police, they're doing their debriefing for the public, all that type of stuff. Uh, uh, but they're doing their debrief for the public now. And uh, the overall, you know, essentially what happened, the overview of what happened is there was a kid whose friend had gotten, I, I believe, his headphones stolen. His friend confronted the thief, or excuse me, he confronted the thief on behalf of his friend. And then he and the thief were supposed to fight after school at a secluded location. And the thief set him up to get jumped by like eight people. This happened in Vegas. And the dude got jumped and he actually didn't survive. You know what I mean? They were all young. You know what I mean? I think the kid might have been like 13 or something. The kids were like between 13 to 17. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's very, very tragic. And he stood up on behalf of his friend and got punished for it. Now, before I get into this, you know what? I'll save my thoughts for the end. Let's just watch this video. Leave a like, subscribe and uh comment also shout out to my sponsors man laxter worldwide i wear this i'm wearing laxter literally in every video that's pretty much all i wear um they make really great clothing the website is open go shop man and uh i'll leave all that information to shop with them in the bio if you do like any of the stuff that i have on very high quality very comfortable stuff and uh you know so far they dropped a lot of stuff but i, I appreciate them for helping me make money while creating content because i'm not even monetized on youtube yet you know what i mean so go ahead and subscribe and all that kind of stuff so you can help me get to that point but for now let's tune into the video all right good afternoon everybody my name is andy walsh i'm the under sheriff with the las vegas metropolitan police department and i want to thank you all for being here today and we're going to provide you and the community with an update on the senseless beating uh investigation and now a murder investigation uh, where the victim was 17 year old jonathan lewis oh so he was 17 okay. on november 1st 2023 and I want to take this moment to just also recognize the work that the members of our homicide section have done once again to bring closure to a senseless crime that occurred in our community. I'm here today to announce that we have eight suspects in custody for the murder. Bro, imagine eight people. It's devastating what one person who can fight can do to you, right? Like, think about this. People say two people on the same level who get into a fight. Some people, you know, they're not very that capable with their hands, but say, you know, you can fight a little bit. Look at what, say, just go and you watch a street fight video online and you see the cost, the possibilities. You could die from one person hitting you and you falling wrong and landing on your neck or landing on your head wrong. You could break an arm, you can get slammed, knocked out. And when you knocked out, it's the street. So they can do whatever they want to you, right? Um, so fighting is dangerous. Now, mu now multiply that damage and those possibilities by eight. And I feel, I feel bad for, you know, the police that, you know, those police that are trusted with protecting the community because, bro, you, parents are not supposed to bury their kids, bro. Parents are not supposed to bury their kids. Like my mom would always say, don't worry about, you know, me eventually getting old and passing away. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to see what that look, what it looks like. If I have to bury you, you don't want to see what that looks like. You don't have, or you don't have, you know, you have no idea. That's just how devastating it is for a parent to have to bury their kid that they've spent, you know, 17, 18 years raising. And some people they say, oh, you know, he's almost grown, blah blah blah. Your baby, it's still your, it's still your baby, man. And to have your, your, you know, your kid die, unfortunately, and while while doing the right thing, is even more sad, because, I mean, it even says in the Bible, good, bad is rewarded with good, and good is rewarded with bad. This is an example of that, where you did something good, you tried to be valiant in your behavior, and then you were ultimately punished murder of Jonathan Lewis and those eight suspects will be charged with the crime of murder. Our work in this investigation is far from over 
and we need all of your help as we continue with this investigation. And the reason I say that is many of you and many people in the community have seen the violent video that has circulated throughout our community via social media. And if you or your child or somebody you know has seen that video and recognizes anybody that may have been a participant in this senseless crime, you need to get a hold of us and our homicide section, uh, like I said earlier, as we further our investigation. Time out. Video? I heard about this, but I never saw the actual video. It's crazy. I literally only heard about this. Back now with a brutal, deadly attack on a teen in Las Vegas. Now, Lewis using viral oh my. to death, 17-year-old Jonathan Lewis. Gators say the swarm of high school students punched, kicked, and stomped to death, 17-year-old Jonathan Lewis using viral. And look how turned they are, bro. Kids, yo, this is it's crazy because. We're at a point in time now where the kids are a lot more devious than they used to be. These are kids, bro. I don't care what you say. These are kids. These kids are supposed to be doing kid things. But they in Vegas, you know, beating the mess out of some dude who in reality was trying to do the right thing for his friend. And they show no mercy because kids, shoot, their frontal lobe ain't even developed all the way. Now, one thing, see, I'm not a parent. But one thing that I definitely will be teaching my young boy when he gets older is mind your business and don't step into anybody else's politics. I don't care if it's your friend. If he's not standing up for himself, he doesn't deserve to have you stand up for him. Um, especially when it comes to getting into an altercation and you know, you aren't capable. It's Vegas, bro. People got guns. Parents got guns laying around all type of stuff. You, this situation could have been, any other way if i'm in an open carry state too i'm definitely explaining all the rules and what that means to my young bull like fam this is open carry kids steal guns from their family and bring them to school i remember going up going to school and having people at the school get shut down because somebody come on the campus with somebody you know grandfather's gun and they be having some big guns boy them kids got switches them kids got chops them kids got you know all types of stuff so ultimately um, the last thing that any parent would ever want to do is have to bury their kid. But at the same time, you have to understand there, there was definitely a, a lapse in, not necessarily a lapse in judgment, but a lack of teaching from the parent where you got to tell your kid, Hey bro, my, you have to mind your business because if you don't, the consequences could be dire. People are paying with their lives because if you get in the way of a crime taking place, no matter how big or small, Criminals are already not thinking straight. It doesn't matter that these are kids, but they're criminals at the end of the day. And uh, if someone's going to steal, my mom always used to tell me, here, my dad, if they'll rob, if they'll lie, they'll cheat. If they'll cheat, they'll steal. If they're steal, they'll kill. And that, 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 that parable doesn't go over, or that parabolic statement doesn't go over anybody's head. Don't put that past anybody. If you catch somebody and they're willing to lie, and you know they're willing to steal from you and tell you and help you look for it. And when you find out it's them, because they don't want to go to jail, they don't want to get in trouble, they don't want to face consequences, they'll try to take your life sometimes for freedom. We've seen high speed chases, all types of things, people robbing banks, getting killed, getting shot, all types of stuff. Because people just want to get be free and do wrong. It's selfish. The last thing anybody needs is for you know their kid to ultimately lose their life videos of the brutal beating police say they've now identified eight of the victim's classmates arresting the suspect and you can see him underneath balled up too he was supposed to fade one-on-one -on -one with this dude bro and is this the kid um what was what was bull's name or not not name but what did bull look like It's crazy, bro. Void of humanity, they said. Wow. Oh, okay. I think this is the guy right here. And look, I don't care what you say. All right. You know, this kid, he doesn't look like he was very capable Our eight news of holding it down. Interview people. 
Quick no questions. Question. As adult, did you watch the video? It's no, very disturbing. I didn't. After adult, back up. After adult, bro, the news. I, I get it. You're trying to do your journalism, but it just happened, bro. Why are you harassing the public like this? Held out of the family court building in Las Vegas, most of the people who showed up in support of the eight young men accused of this vicious beating had nothing to say, or at least nothing nice. If y'all do, I'm suing. I'm not playing. But we did speak with an uncle of one of the 16-year-old defendants who did his best to defend his nephew. Do you have any comment? Do you have anything to say? I mean, he did allegedly kick a kid to death and beat a Well, child. that's, uh, like you said, it's allegedly. So nobody knows who did what, so. But it's on video. I haven't seen the video. All you see is a bunch of kids in a, in a, in a, in a crowd. You don't know who is who or what is what. Do you think your nephew is innocent? I don't know. All right, so I'm not going to lie in W Uncle because he's just trying to keep it fair. But at the same time, bro, if you at the courthouse and your kid got pointed out and all that type of stuff, because chances are, man, you know, if he got pointed out, they usually don't play about that. You know what I mean? Um, he, it's, it's a tough situation because, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't just throw your, your, your young teen nephew under the bus or son or whatever. But at the same time, somebody, they got their life took. And I, like I said, my pops, he always told me, you see some stuff going down, even if it's with your boy, mind your business, worry about the get back. All right. Do not pull up thinking that you're about to fade, you know, eight, nine, ten niggas, bro. Like, it's just not going down like that. People got guns, knives, all types of stuff. It would be a it would be a, a burn mission or a crash out. You would be a crash dummy if you went and did that, because it's now is what instead of one V8 is two V8. That makes zero sense. And your boy getting himself into that situation. Like, think about this. If he's not, his man's is still alive. The dude that the kid had, the kid lost his life for, for this dude who wouldn't stand it for himself. All right. He got his headphones stolen. Bro stepped up to the plate, got creased up. His homie's still, uh, still alive. And I know it's not fair to say, but it is though at the same time, because I know the parents is like, bro, my son lost my lost, lost his life because he was trying to defend your son, bro. What's up with y'all? We raised a real one. And, you know, your son is being sorry and wouldn't defend himself because he because he, he just let people take stuff from him. And me personally, I'll be hot. Because I raised a real one and then. It's they, they, you know, they 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 put eight they put eight people on him. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, bro. Pause, but it's just it's sad to see. And there's such a there's there's a huge lesson in this, which means which is if they're not willing to defend themselves, if you hear somebody say, "Hey, man, somebody did this to me. They took this from me, and they didn't get their things back," right? I'm not talking about what somebody has to say. If they say somebody called me this, called me that, I'm not talking about words. I'm talking about what they did, okay? I'm not even talking about threatening all that because I think because this is the thing: words are words, violence is violence, right? I'm talking about if you're if you're if you, if somebody comes home, hey, my friend, he got his thing stolen from him at school, and say the end of the school day, you, you, you say they walk home, right? Boom, walking home, your son and his friend, his friend says, hey, blah blah blah, this dude stole my thing, man. You know, I'm blowed about it. I don't know what to tell my parents. Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna be sick. And then your and then your son is like, oh okay. Well, well, you know who was it? They tell him, oh it was blah blah blah. He said, oh okay, so it was Darrell. All right, um, all right, bet. All right, you know, all right, bet, bet, bet. I'm gonna take care of that for you. Your son walks in the house. Mom, dad, blah blah blah. Got his his iPod stolen. He said, or his headphones stolen. His AirPods stolen. You know, like two hundred fifty dollars. So he's sick. And I'm gonna be like, son. He said he got his AirPods stolen, and I'm about to step up to Darrell, and uh, you know, I'm gonna handle that for him. I'm gonna be like, son, do you know why? Uh, or do you know he knows that his AirPods got stolen by Darrell for sure? He said, yeah. You know what I mean? Then you need to make sure your friend goes and talks to Darrell himself. And if he's not gonna talk to him himself, you don't need to worry about his AirPods. You wonder why? Because what happens if Darrell does something to you because you're about to tell or you're about to get him in trouble? Oh, well, and this is not advocacy for not doing the right thing. Okay. This is just about survival stuff. This is about 
standing on your own business, minding your own business. Also a very valuable skill, by the way. But you tell him, look, you need to tell him to go and he needs to tell the teacher. He needs to talk to the principal. He needs to handle business on his own. That's not your business. We're not going to get involved with Darrell's parents. We're not going to get involved with Darrell. We're not going to get involved with the school. And it's not your stuff. You have all your stuff. So do not go to school and bother that kid or any of that group. Leave him alone. Your kid would have lived, bro. And, I'm, and, and look, it's fucked up to say it like that. But am I lying? Because that's exactly how I grew up, where my pop said, hey, that he somebody stole his basketball and y'all couldn't play no more. If he don't get his basketball back, then y'all ain't hooping. You you're not gonna go and talk to and be a hero for them. You know what I mean? You worry about your business. So that's how I learned how to mind my business. And I won't lie to you. I feel as though I've been all the better for it because I've avoided so many close calls with people because somebody came came will come to me and tell me a situation but then withhold certain details like oh i was this i was that it was this it was that then shoot you be get ready to pull up and then my dad will break it down to me and you know i'm glad a part of me is glad that he did serve some time so he got a lot more a little more uh common sense and he can peep the play a lot better than say somebody my age or even somebody who had not gone through what they had what he had gone through and when i did when i opted out of the situation then word comes around that actually there was more to the situation and I would have been in a sticky situation myself should I have jumped in. You know what I mean? So these are just the consequences that can happen. Even when you do good, there are consequences. The only way that there are not consequences for, for you know what I mean, you doing right is if you're minding your business. If you mind the business that's yours, you'll be fine. Trust me. So leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that stuff. Remember, shop with Laxtra. Follow Laxtra underscore worldwide on Instagram. Follow my sponsors. Show some love. And um, I'll catch you next video, man. I'm out.